talk to your grandma or your auntie or anyone that you know who's over the age of 50 or 60 and ask them what's a priority in their life. 90 to 100% of them would say health. One way or another, you either invest in your health early and you reap the rewards and the benefits of that later on with longevity, good health, less doctor visits, less medication, or you wait till later on to invest in your health. And a lot of times at that point, it could be too late. So if you have questions or concerns, don't be afraid to reach out to me. You can send me a direct message, you can text me or you can call me. That's what I'm here so for. So I went from eating 3,700 calories to 2,600 calories, and I'm eating more now at 2,600 calories than I was at 3,700 calories. How is that possible? I'm eating more vegetables. Vegetables, because they're healthier, have less calories. So I'm eating about two times more than I was at 3,700 calories than I am now at 2,600. So a lot of times people get confused when you're looking at macros and you think because you're lowering your total calories that that means you're eating less. That does not mean you have to eat less. That just means you're eating quality food and therefore you can go like I did from 3,700 to 2,600 calories and eat more at the lower calorie count. So I want you guys to think you about- You go an extended period of time without eating, your liver is gonna release sugar or what they call glycogen. If you go for a steady walk, your body's gonna burn off that sugar. 20 to 30 minutes of exercise, you burn off sugar. Now you're able to start tapping into those fat storages and you're burning fat. Our recommendation to you guys, do some fasted cardio, but just a light walk or a power walk. No crazy hit intervals or weight training, just a light power walk, burn some sugar, burn some calories. That's an excellent way to take advantage of your intermittent fast. If you guys have any questions, Leave a comment. Number down. one, I like doing low intensity, steady state cardio when I'm hungry. And there's a scientific reason why I do cardio when I'm hungry. If you wanna know what that reason is, leave a comment down below or send me a direct message and I'll explain why that's so effective.